Hi, welcome to the Art Garden. Today I'm going to talk to you about an artist, Degas. Degas was born almost 200 years ago and um, he liked to paint things that moved. The ballet, horses, singers, and because of this his drawings, pastels, and paintings were very unique, and sculptures I should say. So let's look at a few. Here's horses. So kind of an interesting view. All we see is, you know, there's one horse like in the middle where you can see running, you know, one leg in front of the other, and then a bunch of other horses standing around. And what I actually like about this one is look at the interesting shadows. But it's not a traditional picture of just the horse. It's, it um, creates a feeling of movement. Let's look at this one. This one's more standing still, but still because of where the horses and the carriage are placed, you can sort of feel they're just about to trot off the painting there. And then here's the ballet. So these are ballet ballerinas practicing for a performance. And you can see there's a lot going on. It's almost as if someone had a camera and took a picture of this rehearsal as opposed to a painting. There's so much detail and movement. Look at the ballerina in the middle. You can feel where her leg is going to go next. You know, it's up and the arms are up. And so all those things are important to think about when you're doing your own drawings. So where are the arms? Where are the legs? Even if it's animals, are your characters always sitting or standing? Or are they moving? Because it creates a totally different feel. Here's ballerinas on stage. And again, see the one with the arms up? You can, you can feel. She's like this. And you can see she's going to go down. You can almost imagine what is going to happen next. And here's another one. More ballerinas on stage. Look at the way he smeared the, the skirt. He painted in paint, but I think this one's pastels. You probably can recognize that from some of your own work with pastels. And the last one I'll show you again is horses. So this one he did a close-up. You know, sort of an unusual view of the horses, and in this case, the jockeys. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to make over some drawing techniques for horses and ballerinas. We're going to go back to that lesson where we talked about breaking things into shapes. So if you're going to break a horse into different shapes, and here's my little horse, um, what shapes might you see in a horse? Well, let's just draw it. The body of the horse is like a rectangle. The neck sort of like a triangle, the face, another triangle. But now I want you to think about how to give this horse some movement. So let's put the legs out front, maybe two legs out back. This is kind of a messy drawing of a horse and then you add some details. Now you can do all this in pencil because then what you can do, and I didn't do it in pencil, is you can go back in and erase this line and the other line over here, and then you end up with a drawing more like this. So what I'd like you to do, well, let's let's do the ballerina before I tell you what I'd like you to do. So a ballerina is also just made up of a bunch of different shapes. She is a circle for the face, you know, sort of a oval for the body, and then the thing about the ballerina that makes you know she's a ballerina is you add this this skirt you know which is really sort of a half circle okay she's looking a little funny but trust me here and then I'm gonna put her arms over her head and maybe one leg one leg up one leg down and then add some details some eyes some hair nose and mouth I'm not really too happy with her but uh you get the idea. And then again, you can go back in, erase lines you don't like, color in lines, and you end up with, here's my ballerina I did before, also very quickly. So what I'd like you to do is draw some horses moving and some ballerinas, and you can color them in with markers. If you don't have markers, you can use crayons, but color them in, and then you're gonna cut them out. And so once they're cut out, you're going to put them aside 
And what I'm going to have you do is paint a background separate. And the way you paint a background is you just get a piece of paper. In this case, I used a canvas, but you can use paper. You take paint and you just you paint it a solid color or you paint it two colors. In this case, I painted it a solid color blue. And then what you're going to do is put your horse and your ballerina, or you could do two horses or five ballerinas, and you're going to collage them. How do we do this? So that you end up, so you can figure out where you want to put them. So this horse, maybe I'll just do something with the horse. And then I'm going to glue it down. And this picture doesn't look complete, so I'll probably cut out some more things. Maybe I'll cut out a flower, or I'll cut out a tree. Um, I'll cut out at least three things and paste it down onto my picture. So there's a couple things that are going on. You're, you're painting a background, you're drawing your animals, your horse, and your ballerina, and then you're going to glue them down. And have fun. It's a sort of a different way where you're combining collage and you're combining painting all in one. And I hope you guys have fun with it. I hope you go and check out some books by Degas. And I'll see you over at the art garden. Thank you.